Hey everybody, Chaos Chunk here, and today I'm going to do a quick little tutorial on how to hook up a deep storage unit or use the storage bus for Applied Energistics 2. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so this should be pretty straightforward stuff, and I'm going to try to show you some of the settings of the storage bus and how everything works with it. And, of course, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to um, to post a question in the questions below. So um, what we've got here is uh, when I use an ME system, I use usually 1K storage cells, and I use them specifically because they're cheap to make, um, I can make a lot of them fast should I need to expand my storage. And if you understand how the storage cells work in regards to uh, the 1K, 4K, uh, what is it, 16K and, and 64K or 32 to 64K, whatever the ones they are, um, you'll understand that the most efficient ones to use are the 1Ks and the 4Ks. So when you do that, the, the best practice is to move any bulk items that you have out of your storage system and then move them into some type of bulk storage system. So this is where the deep storage unit from Mine Factory Reloaded comes in and the storage bus comes in. Now, you can use the storage bus on anything um, that has an inventory in it, whether it be a chest or, a, like I said, deep storage unit or anything like that that has, has an inventory, and it will read everything inside of it intrinsically. So to look at the storage bus, uh, when we open it up here, we have several buttons here that may be kind of uh, wonky, <laughs> okay, and not understanding. Uh, the thing down the side here is where we can add add-on cards. This is where you can expand this inventory here, and what this inventory would dictate is um, if you had a storage system that could hold a lot of different items and you wanted the storage bus to read all those items and only have those items go in or out, you would need to have them listed here. And to expand the system, you would just put expansion cards, which is part of um, AE2. And I will do another video on expansion cards. Up here is a wrench, and this wrench is priority. And what the priority does is um, I want to tell this um, this system that... So the system will have multiple places for things to go, whether it be the ME drive or the storage unit. And I want it to tell the system that I want you to go here instead of there, meaning that I want you to go to this as a priority. This is more of a priority to go here than it is to, say, the ME drive. And what you do is I usually give myself lots of room and jack it up to like 200, and I use that as a standard setting. Um, so... There's no other reason you can use one, you can use 50, you can use whatever you want. I just happen to use 200 to give me enough room to, if I need to adjust up and down for any reason. So that's your priority. Um, over on the left here, um, this allows us to clear anything that's in here. This one right here will help us with partitioning the storage. So currently inside, inside the deep storage unit, I have some, some stone. And I'm going to go ahead and partition this specifically for the stone just by hitting it. As you can see, it has now shows up stone. And that means that only stone will be put in and taken out of this, or will be put into this, this storage unit or this storage bus. If I had anything else in the storage bus, and if you know anything about deep storage units, they hold two billion items of, two billion of one item. So this is saying that I just want partition this storage bus to say just put stone in. The next little thing down here is an input output mode. Um, and the input output mode allows us to say that I just want things to extract only. I want things to only insert. And then I want bi-directional. Where this comes in really handy is one of the, the downsides to doing storage buses is if you have a bulk item that is already in your ME system and say it's already in your ME drives, it, even though the priority is set to the storage bus, it won't automatically move things out of that storage, out of that other drive and into this. You're going to have to move it out uh, either manually or from some mechanic means. So what I usually do is I will usually set it to insert only, and then I will come over to a bus. I will come over to a bus like this right here, and I will output the item into an ender chest and then 
use an import bus to import it back into the chest, okay? And this is one, this is a bone of contention. I'm going to go off on a little tangent here. This is, this is where a lot of people have a lot of problem when they're trying to understand importing and exporting out of the ME system. Remember that the buses are in regards to the ME system, not anything else. So you're going to import into the ME system. You're going to export out of the ME system. A lot of people will think that I'm, I'm, uh, exporting out of this, therefore I need an export bus, but actually in all actuality, you're exporting out of the M ME system. So to get things in to your item, you're going to export into it and you're going to import out of it into importing into your ME system. I hope that clarifies things there. So what I was talking about here is, is say that I had, um, uh, some stone in my system here. Okay. And I wanted, let's say, let's take this little guy right here and let's set this back to um, our bi-directional. And I'm going to put this stone, I'm going to put 32 stone in here, okay? And this stone is now in this drive, or at least it should be in that drive. It's not because it's already planned to go here because I set a priority for it. Anyway, so there you go. That worked exactly the way we expected it to. So the we're going to put 32 in here. Theoretically, this should now go to... It's still going to go in here because it still has a higher priority. <laughs> so hold on. Let's go ahead and set this down. One, two, three. And set the priority down. And let's try. Let's even break this off for now. Just so we can get past this point and show you what my intention is here. So we have 32. And this is going to show that you have uh, 12 of 124 bytes used and one of 63 types. Okay. So um, if I go ahead and I set this up over here to put items into it and you're going to wait for it to turn purple and I go ahead and set it. You can set it just by putting the block there and I set my priority here and here. You'll now, you'll notice that this still has this in here. Okay. So what I want to do to get that out. So you don't want to manually move 10,000 stone at once. All right. So, uh, the way that I usually do it is I will put an export here, but before you do that, you want to make sure that this is set to insert only. Because if you don't put it to insert only, it'll sit there and do a loop. And it'll just pull out of that, put back in, pull out, put back in, pull out, put back in. So you want that to be set to, currently set to insert only, like it is. All right. And then we're going to set this to go here. And what this should be doing is that this should be taking our blocks out. And as it is doing very slowly taking our blocks out, and then we should see our blocks to start counting up in here, okay? So you can see that what it's doing is it's exporting the blocks out and importing the blocks back in, and since it has a priority to put the blocks in here, it'll automatically put them into the deep storage unit, all right? Um, I, I know that people are probably screaming and saying, oh, chaos, there's a million ways to do this. There's a million ways to do a lot of things. This is the way that I currently do this, and I find it the easiest way. Because what will happen is I'll usually fill up my ME system with a certain type of block, and I want to get that into a deep storage unit. This is the way that I do it, okay? Um, let's see if there's anything else that we need to look at here. Um, uh, and I don't really know what that does, and I'm very, very extremely sorry for not uh, report inaccessible items, no uh, items will cannot be extracted will be visible. Oh, okay. So this is probably going to report which items over here uh, can be in extracted or put in or something like that. Um, I haven't got into that, and I'm sorry. I probably should have before I shot this video. Um, I think that that pretty much explains uh, everything there is uh, to go over with a storage bus. I hope this explains everything to you guys on how the storage bus works and stuff. And like I said, it'll work on chests and stuff like that. So don't forget to lick, like, subscribe, uh, do all sorts of crazy stuff. Make sure you make some comments, please, on the stuff below. And please check me out at Chaos Chunk um, at Twitch TV, uh, Chaos Chunk. So thank you very much for watching. Have a great day, and we out!